Hey, what's going on guys? Today I wanted to take the time to do a little bit of speculation as to exactly which kinfolk we're likely to see in the Kindred Fates combat alpha coming this fall. If you still haven't heard of Kindred Fates yet, might I just say what is wrong with you? Go pause this video, watch the Kickstarter trailer over on SkyMill's YouTube channel, or you can watch the extended one here, up to you. And uh, then come back and, and, and we'll start to talk. Anyways, a couple things of note is that the combat alpha is a backer reward for the champion tier backers. The champion tier comes with some other stuff, but if you want an in-depth look on each backer reward, you can check out their Kickstarter page. The other noteworthy pieces of information come from the developers themselves regarding the alpha. It's been stated on Discord that the goal of the alpha is to include five to nine different kinfolk, preferably one of each type or to cover as many types as possible. Now this video is going to go through the kinfolk that I believe are the most likely to make the cut and in doing such I'll provide various sources of information ranging from what we see in the trailers and uh, sort of what's going on on the progress board. With regards to the progress board, I'm not going to go specifically into which tasks are specifically done. Uh, the progress board features like task 1, task 2, task 3, task 4. We don't know exactly what those tasks are, so certain kinfolk might have more tasks left, but they might be smaller tasks. So I'm going to more so look at what's more prominent and what makes the most sense. So with regards to the progress board, I did find something a little strange. There are four very prominent kinfolk that are absent here. Those four are Auburn, Ember, Knight, and Skullkin. Now the reason I I say they're very prominent is because out of all the kinfolk we see in the various trailers, these four are shown battling pretty much the most. K9 and Skulkin were even used as the two kinfolk for the battling update uh, sort of footage that Skymill posted on their YouTube channel, as well as for the capture mechanic video. Now, Auburn is also the first kinfolk, with Skulkin being the third. My guess is that these kinfolk were completed before the progress board was even made, and thus will likely be available in the alpha, and that's probably why they're not present. Now this does come with a slight issue however, if there are going to be 5-9 to nine kinfolk, 3 of them would be fire and thus a minimum of 2 types won't be represented. Now it is possible that 5-9 to nine was a more conservative estimate and we could see as many as 11 with 1 being of each type plus the auburn line, but only time will tell. Now one thing that was proposed in our subscriber discord which you should totally join, was that perhaps in order to not have too many of the same type, uh, only 1 of 3 of the auburn line will be in the game. Now this is possible, but if Ember and Knight are in fact finished kinfolk, I, I feel like it wouldn't make a lot of sense to not include them. It would be like not including content that's already done. It wouldn't cost them anything extra to just throw them in there, whereas withholding them kind of would. Anyways, for those reasons, I do believe, and I think it's very likely, that Auburn, K Knight, Ember, and Skulkin will all be in the demo. We see Skulkin performing combos on Kadoki in the Kickstarter trailer. We see them battling quite a bit. I, I don't see a reason why these four kinfolk will not be in the alpha. Anyways, moving on to proposed kinfolk number five. I find it extremely likely, if not downright confirmed, that Kadoki will be in the alpha. Now, firstly, it's completed according to the progress board and was also one of the first earlier kinfolk to be revealed. And it was also stated by the devs that kinfolk that have been around for a longer time have a higher chance of being in the alpha, which makes sense as their development cycles were longer. But nevertheless, we see Kadoki fighting in the Kickstarter trailer like I mentioned, and it's done according to the progress board. Also, in terms of Gaia types, the only other one is this mysterious Noble Thorn, which is currently being worked on, but it seems to be a newer kinfolk, so I find it a little less likely. Perhaps they're working on it right now because of different reasons and it might end up on the backlog later. We're not too sure on that front. So from this point on, it does get a little grainier because we have some kinfolk that aren't referenced, maybe referenced through codename or are referenced and we haven't really seen them in action. So from number six onwards, it's going to be a little more speculative and it's going to focus more on divvying out the maximum amount of types. But nevertheless, I do think there's some pretty decent evidence to support my thoughts on the matter. So for number six, seven, and eight, we're going to go back to the progress board. Now, if we look at characters in progress that we actually know what they are. We have Shovelbutt, Slifer, and Mechit. Now that's not to say that anything on the backlog isn't relevant, but I'm going to touch on the backlog later and discuss why I think there's a decent chance we may or may not see any of the mentioned kinfolk there. So for number six, I'm just going to say it downright, it's going to be Shovelbutt. Just due to the fact that we do get to see its rendered 3D model, whereas for the other two we have not. Shovelbutt's currently the only Earth type other than Black Spire, which is again unlikely to be in the alpha due to the fact that it being a rather new addition and and being on the backlog, so that sort of gives us our Earth representation. Now, as for Mechid, it actually has a rival here being Iron Fist, which 
most people are speculating it could be the unnamed Mekhing, but given the fact that they're both from the same line and Iron Fist is newer, I'd say Mekid is our mecha spot. Then with regards to Slifer, it's the only Null type other than Nyazin that's been revealed, and Nyazin was a recently made kinfolk through an art contest, so that one's also unlikely. Uh, there also is Patient Muse, but that's also on the backlog, and some are also speculating that that could also be uh, Nyazin. Maybe, maybe not, but I have a bite-sized video that I'm working on going over that as well. So I had to interject this part of the script due to future changes, but my theory was further given validity on May 22nd in the Kindred Fates newsletter where Slifer and Mechid 3D models were specifically referenced and we gained a new shovel butt animation further solidifying that as well. And another interjection to the script is that Deer Dog or Humble Shepherd, which is extremely likely to be Deer Dog, especially given the uh, personality description that Charlie on sent me regarding Deer Dog's personality being humble, as well as it being a shepherd so there, there's not really much debate there but um it was actually moved to the forefront now it's being worked on and it's interesting because deer dog or humble shepherd is also a dark type so it'll be interesting to see if we end up getting a another dark type maybe it's not going to be skullkin maybe it is i'm not too sure on that front skullkin makes more sense but again i don't think they're specifically sticking to one of each type so we could see it they could work on a couple tasks and move it back to the backlog but i guess only time will tell so if we did follow the whole five to nine count religiously then at max we could have one more kinfolk and it's going to be highly speculative so ignoring the interjected information regarding Deer Dog, because Deer Dog's a little bit of an outlier here, I'm not sure if it's gonna end up back on the backlog or not. It'll be really cool if it ends up in the trailer. It's a dark type with a fire lean, but given its typing and its leaning, it makes it less likely, in my opinion, that it would end up in the alpha, especially given the fact that it was added a little further into development. But again, only time will tell. But other than that, we currently have three unrepresented types and potentially only one slot left, those types being water, light, and air. Now, the only light type is the stag and on the backlog there is a light type creature named gentle gaze which is likely the stag just given the eyes of the stag and the gentle nature of most deer like animals with air type we have avion and castrix so interestingly enough castrix has not been seen rendered in 3d and isn't present anywhere on the progress board so unlike the others that aren't present, we haven't seen Castrix, we've only seen art. So I think it's a little unlikely that Castrix is going to make a, an appearance here, but you know, I'll just cry myself to sleep over that. Then we have Bakionawa, which also oddly enough isn't on the progress board, but there is a kinfolk named Vicious Diver on the backlog, which does sort of uh, fit Bakionawa's nature. Bakionawa and the stag having code names does make sense because if you didn't know, Bakionawa isn't actually the real name and the stag obviously isn't just called stag. So with these three kinfolk being the most prominent for each type, it makes you wonder. We've only ever seen the stag running, not fighting. We've only ever seen Bakianawa swimming, not fighting. And we've only ever seen Avion flying as a mount and then getting wrecked by uh, Salamurder, but also not fighting. It could honestly go either way with these. All are currently on the backlog, but given the fact that Avion is the only one with a real name and actually seen in combat, despite the fact that it's just getting wrecked, I think out of the three, it's the more likely one. But there is, however, another possibility. Now, at the time of scripting this video, there's no mention whatsoever of Salamurder. Salamurder. Salamurder seems to be the only kinfolk of the four that I mentioned at the beginning of this video that is seen in combat without any sort of mention on the progress board. Even if we take a look at the code names of some of these kinfolks, none of them really match. It's extremely interesting as well because Bakianawa and the Stag aren't even actually seen fighting and like I said, Avion's only seen really getting wrecked. Now this is highly speculative, but what if Salamurder is in fact already complete and they've just been waiting to give us a name. We see it use two different, likely dark type attacks in the trailer, and if you watched my bite size video going over the potential typing of Salamurder, it's pretty much agreed upon in the community that it's either a water with a dark leaning or a dark with a water leaning. If it is in fact a water type, it could actually take the spot that Bakianawa potentially would have filled if it were in the alpha. Let's not forget that we see Bakianawa swimming, but the alpha is a combat oriented alpha, likely going to include actual terrain to fight on, meaning that they're going to have to base basically animate and code not only what we've seen in the trailer, but completely different terrain based movesets for when it's on land. But again, like I said, the last kinfolk on this list is super speculative and hopefully we'll get a little more insight as time moves forward. I'm curious to know what you guys think about who might make it into the alpha and which kinfolk you're most excited to use. The recent developments with the uh, newsletter, I think really confirms those last three that I mentioned. And then with regards to the very last one, I do find it interesting that Deer Dog did 
suddenly become part of what's currently being worked on. And don't forget, Noble Thorn and Iron Fist are also on the current log of what's being done. So it really is anyone's guess who exactly is going to be in this alpha. But I think I have given some good reasons as to why we will see certain kinfolk over others. And with all that being said, make sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at GymLeaderEd. Make sure to join our subscriber discord. And until next time, peace.